Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then thank you for joining. I make videos about beauty and skincare and I've also started doing vlogs again recently. So if that seems like your kind of thing, then do subscribe. Um, so today I'm going to be doing another favourites video. So I did one back in January, which I firstly named January favourites. I then changed it to winter favourites because what I realised come February... I was still using and enjoying the exact same products so instead I thought I would just do this seasonally but at least it gives me a few months in between and then therefore hopefully I'll have a range of different products to show you so truthfully I am still enjoying and using quite a lot of the products I was back in January but there is a large selection in front of me of different products since then that I've been using there's also a mix so i'm mainly going to go through beauty and skincare but i do also have some food some hobbies some tv shows to go through as well Let's start off with some hair care products so i've been enjoying the l'oreal paris lviv dream lengths range so i firstly got the heat protection and then i went and got the shampoo conditioner and then this one which is the eight second wonder water and i've just been really enjoying this range because i did recently get my hair cut quite short I have noticed that it's grown quite well since, but also just overall, my hair looks and feels a lot healthier, shinier, softer. Um, it's a little bit less frizzy as well. So this range just has lots of great ingredients, which is gonna help you achieve your hair goals. So that is the first brand. I'm gonna be able to do it in a specific order, but I am gonna try. So another hair care product, I've been really enjoying the Keratin Hairspray, which I got gifted back in January I think. I use it generally to just tame the frizziness of my hair and I find that it holds well. It doesn't make my hair look greasy. It is strong hold but it doesn't look like my hair is literally stuck to my scalp um, and yeah I just really enjoy it and it's easy to brush out as well. Speaking of brushes I've been really enjoying this hairbrush. So this is from Rock and Ruddle. Again it was gifted. They have a really great selection of designs. I chose this really pretty metallic one. Bristles are really good for promoting just really shiny and smooth hair. That they touch your scalp also promotes hair growth so another great product if you are looking to grow your hair. Um, so I've been really enjoying that hairbrush. I've got a headband which I just got off Sheen. You can get them on TikTok shop. They're just everywhere at the minute anyways. But I really enjoy using this when I'm doing my skincare and makeup because it obviously pushes all my hair back out the way. Um, and I just think they're really pretty, really affordable and there's lots and lots of colours available as well. So yeah, I've just been really enjoying wearing that. Another hair product is the Jasmine and Henna Hair Treatment. So this is from Lush and I did speak about this in a vlog and on my TikTok but I used to be obsessed with Lush, like full on obsessed this is one that i used to get years ago treatment just honestly makes my hair feel so soft and smooth and it also smells amazing Gloss of gloss red henna teams up with coconut brazil nut and hemp oils to strengthen and condition ideal for brunettes and redheads i mean i used this when i was blonde as well to be fair i'm now obviously a brunette but, but yeah i just love how it makes my hair look and feel and i just really like this treatment blush is quite pricey but you only need a tiny amount i would say i've used this probably six times now and I've still got loads left so you only need a little bit and I just use it before washing my hair I generally use it all over my hair but more towards the ends and um, so yeah I really enjoyed that that's it for hair so moving on to skincare but sticking with lush I've also got the cup of coffee face and body mask again this has just been one of my all-time favorite products a little bit pricey I have used this probably about the same amount of times about six times as the hair treatment and still have lots left and I just honestly love the smell of this if you love the smell of coffee then you'll love it if you don't then you won't let's get this addictively fragrant brew all over for an instant wake-up call scrub soften and rinse away to feel bright and perky however early your alarm goes off i really love the wording that lush use uh, but yeah just the smell of it just generally makes me feel so much more awake and ready for the day as if i'm actually drinking a cup of coffee um, and i just love it you can use it on your body as well it's a really nice exfoliating face mask we've got pixie nutrify which are nourishing eye patches 
pairs and you get 30 pairs so 60 in total and a little spatula um, I absolutely love these again for early mornings especially with me having dark under eyes I feel like they just refresh and revive my eyes ready for the day me and just little eye masks as opposed to like a full face mask I feel like I can just pop them on and get on with my day as well um, so I don't have to just kind of sit still and not dare move um, this is what they look like and honestly they are just so cooling and refreshing um, I use them quite often on a morning but I did also wear them when we went to London on the train um, just to give my skin a bit of a freshen up before we got there much to the embarrassment of everyone I was with. I just absolutely love these eye patches. I think they're really handy and I would definitely recommend. So next we have a cleanser. This is the Cetaphil Hydrating Foaming Cream Cleanser. I was using the non-forming version of this, um, which I got in an advent calendar, which I would have mentioned in my last favourite. And I absolutely loved it. It was so gentle on my skin. It made my skin feel so soft and smooth. Um, so I've moved on to this one, which is the foaming version. It's perfect for normal to sensitive skin. But if you've not tried this cleanser, then please do. Like, honestly, it's amazing. But it's also very affordable. Like, I feel like Cetaphil is a very affordable range. You have different skincare for all skin types, but I would definitely recommend. Um, so, yeah, I've been really enjoying that. I had a cold um, and around my nose was so, so sore. And this was one of the only products that I could actually use because it didn't obviously sting my face. Um, another cleanser is the Jorba Jorba Bead Cleanser, which is a bit grubby if you look at it because I usually use this after using a cleansing balm. So the Body Shop um, Chamomile Butter. I use that first on my eyes to remove like the mascara and eye makeup. And I go in with this for a second cleanse. The Joba Joba beads just honestly make my skin again feel so smooth and soft. A texture cleanser because I feel like it gives you a better cleanse. It makes your skin feel really clean and smooth. It's drying and softens as well. So it's not one of those cleansers that's going to make your skin feel like tight and dry after cleansing. Another product from the Joba Joba company is the Transformative Eye Serum with Firming Peptide. So you can also use this on like fine lines and wrinkles. But I just absolutely love the applicator. Like it's got a metal applicator, which means it's really, really soothing. Um, but also it loads the little dropper. So when you put it in, you just press the button there and it loads it. And then when you're like obviously applying it, you would just press it again and it comes out so yeah really really handy um but very soothing so perfect for early mornings just very refreshing and reviving like the pixie eye patches so i've really enjoyed this and i just think the packaging as well just looks very luxurious eye cream i've been enjoying is by the inky list and it is the caffeine eye cream so obviously it helps to reduce the appearance of tired eyes. I feel like my dark circles have improved since using this eye cream because the eye cream I was using before this, I just don't think that was helping with the darkness. So I do think they have slightly improved since using this eye cream. I've then got a serum. This is from the brand Sientia and it is the Green Supreme CBD Veggie Tox Smoothie Serum. So this has some amazing ingredients, but honestly, the way it makes my skin feel after using it, um, it smells really fruity. So I really like the fragrance and also the packaging i think is beautiful and when i use this my skin feels so hydrated and moisturized like i wouldn't even need to use a moisturizer it's vegan and cruelty free and it just makes my skin feel so nourished and hydrated like it brightens and protects skin as well so just another really great brightening product and brightening this one's actually nearly empty um, this is the Dermaworks Vitamin C Day Serum, 20% with hyaluronic acid. Do you love a serum, but definitely vitamin C because I do have quite tired, dull skin. So I do usually opt for products that have vitamin C as an ingredient. Um, and I've really liked this. Again, it's been gentle on my skin, but really refreshing and brightening. Um, and it just sinks into the skin very, very quickly. So it's a very lightweight serum. So I've really enjoyed that. On to an SPF, we have the La Roche Posse and Thelios UV 50 SPF um, this one is the invisible fluid there is also one that's more suitable for oily or blemish skin um, but I really enjoy this the actual colour of it I don't know if you can see there it looks like an aluminous yellow colour 
but when it goes on your skin like it is literally just clear um it's really lightweight and hydrating obviously it's spf 50 which i often opt for uh, as my spf choice i before getting this was using the garnier dupe well i don't know if you can call it a dupe but um the very similar one that garnier do which obviously is a fraction of the price however i would say i do prefer this and would say it's worth the money they are very similar but i just think this is a lot more lightweight um i can't feel it on my skin it sinks in really quickly i would repurchase this one again i've really enjoyed this and i think the bottle's really cute as well I definitely say it's worth the price and i've been using it every single day um, and after using it on my skin and neck the excess that i have on my hands i just put on the back of my hands recently i found out that you should wear spf on your hands too which does make sense because your hands are quite you know open usually um so that's what i've been doing with mine fixed up a couple of bath and body products so i did mention this in my last favorites but i just absolutely love it i had to mention it again it is the um locutane almond oil shower oil See, just makes my skin feel so soft and somebody that has a dry sensitive skin and also suffers from eczema i really rate this and i use it twice a week so i think it's been lasting quite well considering and i've also got the milk concentrate which is a body moisturizer i find this really lightweight so perfect as a body moisturizer during summer because it just sinks in and dries very quickly meaning you can get ready quicker waiting around for it to dry and again very very gentle on skin and it smells amazing for the bath i've been really enjoying the lacura vanilla honey golden bath nectar which is a dupe of the laura mercier one and this is from aldi um and it honestly it smells amazing just had to smell it there but it also makes the bath just feel really silky and soft on my skin it also comes with the cutest little like I can't remember what it's called but you know what you would have like in honey and um, it comes with one of them which I just think is really cute and very handy to run under the bath into the water um, and yeah I've just been really enjoying that and again it's a product that you only need a tiny amount because I've used this a lot of times um, and it's just a really nice like pearlescent colour. I have Miss Patisserie this is actually an empty box because I've already used this bath bomb and um, they had a rebrand recently which I spoke about in a recent beauty haul but I absolutely love their new products the bath balls have been one of my favorite of the new products but especially this one which is the pure bath ball it's got really nice ingredients again for sensitive skin so if you do have sensitive skin and you want something that's going to be a little bit more gentle for bath time then i would definitely recommend this bath bomb moving on to a few beauty products so the first thing that i've been really enjoying which i have mentioned in a vlog um and i've just got some of the coffee face mask on there i don't even know how the benacos kabuki brush I think it blends the foundation into my skin very effortlessly and um, it's a very dense but soft brush and also a really like handy travel size as well so i've really enjoyed that another product which i literally only received last week is a pixie on the glow bronze tinted moisture stick and it has made its way into my favorites because i'm already obsessed like this is what's given me that really nice kind of healthy sun-kissed glow and um, it's really easy to use you literally just glide it on there's multiple colors and it's just really moisturizing and just yeah just so pretty like look at that this is the color that i've got which is called warm glow but as I said, they do have different shades and I just think it's so pretty and again, really handy for traveling. So if you're going on holiday, I just think that is so handy to take in your bag and it just twists up like that. The beauty product I've been using is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I'm obsessed. I have it in black and brown. Back on today, but if I was going to work or having more of a natural makeup day, then I would opt for the brown. Um, but yeah, I just really love this mascara. I feel like you really don't need to apply much very easily. You only need like five strokes to have a full lash effect. It's not like too clumpy or drying. Um, I would say it actually feels quite moisturising on my lashes compared to a lot of other mascaras i've used and um, see so yeah, i really rate this mascara as are 29 pound which is a little bit out of my range usually i did get gifted these um but after using them i would say that it's worth the money and i would personally pay that to repurchase them the product i got recently is the revolution hd super matte setting powder i've been using this as my powder um since my by terry hyaluronic one ran out which i'm very sad about um but this was literally only three pound 
and I think it's really good for three pound. It is like a loose powder, so you do need to tap it out. Um, I got this one in. I don't know if it's going to tell me the colour. I don't know what colour it is, but I think there was two colours. Um, and yeah, it's just really easy to use, affying, but it's not too drying, which I really like. Obviously, the price is a big thing for me. Like three pound, I think you just can't go wrong. Um, and it's just really lightweight, and I've really enjoyed using it. The last beauty product I've got is from the Body Shop, and it is the Swipe It Moisturising Lip Balm, which I've been really enjoying. I just think these are so cute. I really want to collect them. All. it is colored so it does give your lips a little tint but i just think it's really moisturizing it smells so fruity so perfect for summer um and i just have been really enjoying it i've been applying a little bit on a morning with a lip gloss over the top all i'll wear on like a natural makeup day i have got lipstick on today um but if i'm going to work then that's what i would use beauty products over with i've now got two cleaning products which is a bit random but honestly i'm obsessed so the first one is the morrison's eco um, passion fruit disinfectant spray the smell of this i'm obsessed like i'm a bit funny a bit picky um with cleaning products and the scents but this honestly is like my favorite scent ever they're eco-friendly range as well so if something's eco-friendly it does make me more willing to buy it like i just do try and you know do things for the environment as and when i can um and yeah i just absolutely love the scent it's vegan the bottle is 100 percent recycled antibacterial other cleaning product is for laundry the comfort creations passion bloom fabric conditioner and again i just love this because of the scent i often opt for comfort when i go for fabric conditioners and um, i'm not too fussy but i really really love the scent of this um, the top note is lychee and there's also mango and passion fruit so just a really nice fruity fragrance for clothing especially during summer so i've really enjoyed that and it, i think it was like half price in iceland so that's what made me buy it but i'm really glad i did because i love the scent a few food items so i've been obsessed with freddles caramel and the normal versions which i've been getting in multi-packs because the price of them individually concerns me a little bit like it makes me feel old so i'm on a diet but i have been relaxed calorie counting so i have been trying um to kind of stick within a certain amount of calories but equally if i went over i'm not too fussed um and one of my biggest issues is binge eating on a night after my tea i would usually have a lot of like sweet treats and chocolate um so now what i've been doing is kind of limiting myself to like maybe a freddo and like a fudge or like a freddo and something else little um so i've just been obsessed and it made me remember how much i love freddos so i had to include them because i've literally been buying like a pack of freddos every week for the last two months so yeah love freddos uh the other thing is um just like low calorie bars um, I just find things like this really handy to take in my bag to work. So if I'm a little bit hungry during the day, then I've got something to snack on, which isn't too high in calories. So the skinny whips and like skinny crunch, um, which you can usually get from like B&M, Home Bargains and like other supermarkets as well. One's less than 80 calories and it's the double chocolate whip one, which is one of my favourites. But yeah, I just really like little bars like this. I just think it's really handy. Um, and then, <laughs> a bit random, but I've been really Really enjoying Fanta Lemon recently and uh, we have a card for the company shop and they had an offer on these like a really good offer my light has just went off I don't know if it's gonna last um but yeah like I've just been drinking these especially on a warm day and it just makes me feel like I'm in Spain or something because this is my go-to holiday drink nice sunny day it just makes me feel like I'm on holiday so I've been enjoying Fanta Lemon random but I did talk about migraines in my last favourite and since then I've been taking propanolol which is actually a beta blocker so a lot of people have it for anxiety and things but I've been taking them for migraines so far they've worked really well I've only had a couple of migraines especially since I was in hospital so I have felt less stressed and less anxious um so I'm definitely gonna continue taking them a few things that I wanted to mention is what I've been enjoying watching on tv um or more specifically netflix so firefly lane absolutely obsessed if you've not watched it i would definitely recommend it's like a little bit cheesy it's like two friends it's a very like girly kind of um series but 
I just absolutely love it. It's very sad at the end. I did like literally bawl my eyes out and I'm not usually a crier. Um, but yeah, it was so, so good. Um, I've just watched the last season. Uh, Bridgerton, um, Queen Charlotte, that's just came out on Netflix. I've been watching that again, obsessed. Um, I absolutely love Bridgerton. It's been one of my favourite series um, of things to watch ever. Um, and then very different, The Last Kingdom started watching the last season of it with james when he was watching it so i do want to go back and watch it all it does remind me a little bit of like game of thrones um so if that seems like your kind of thing i would definitely recommend um so yeah i watched the last season with james and then the movie that came out i watched that as well and i really enjoyed it but i am a bit of a wuss like when there's blood and things so i would only watch it with james to be honest um but i enjoyed that and then I've also enjoyed watching YouTube again. I go through phases, like I'll go through a few weeks of watching lots of things on Netflix and then go through like a few weeks on um, YouTube. Um, but I've been really enjoying Louise Pentland's video. She's one of my favourite YouTubers to watch. Um, she's done some Disneyland vlogs and some cruise vlogs recently. And since then, I've actually booked a Disneyland trip for January and a P&O cruise for 2025 so clearly I've been influenced but I'm very excited about those trips and I just love watching travel vlogs I do want to do more travel vlogs on my channel I've been doing a lot of vlogs recently as well so I have been really enjoying vlogging so if that's your kind of thing then there's quite a lot of vlogs on my channel um, and just generally I've been really enjoying just going out with James going out for food going to the cinema like, I feel like I've started to get my life back a little bit my light's gone off again um since buying a house and covid like it's just been a crazy few years and i only just now feel like we're starting to get on top of the housework starting to have money to go out again and go out for food and days out and just enjoy ourselves. and that just makes me very happy been going out with like my mum and grandma and jess quite a lot i've seen um quite a few of my friends caught up with them um done things with people from work but especially like me and james I don't think we've had like a lot of like date nights and like time together for a while like especially with work and things um so it's just been nice um to have time just the two of us as well so that's everything for my spring favorites thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know if you've enjoyed and um, watching any of those shows or if you've been using any products that you've really liked recently and um, then do let me know in the comments i will be doing one of these every season as i said i will see you in my next video